government. No, no go. In fact, the only person, as I said, who recognized was uh, uh, former president Kufo. He was the one who came and visited his tomb in Golu, where I lived. And he even said they should build a mausoleum for him. They haven't built it. But they started it, but they haven't completed it. And he gave him what he said. Kufo said any, he defeated his uh, former leader, Victor Wusu, in the elections. But any place he, Hila was going, he took him along. Like most people are saying, in Hila's administration, it was an inclusive government. Huh? The, uh, that uh, Achim Man's uh, party, what was it called? He was the chairman of the Council of State. UNC. UNC. UNC was the uh, leader, leader of the Council of State. And that was Hila's government. Look at uh, his wife. Uh, First lady, they should take care of her and come and build his mausoleum and his library in Golu for him. They should uplift his image. The legacy he has left is so co concrete. And as I said, he has now got a house. I said the uh, 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 state housing company has that one. He, was, he built that in the 1975 when he was there. The Minister of Foreign Affairs. Yeah, so, uh, you people should uplift his name. Look at it. He was a man of courage, a man of honesty, very powerful. And he corrupted nobody. None of his ministers or apprentices had been found well, up to date. Hasn't he left a, a powerful legacy? That's what we should do. They should clean him up for him.